high. Now India has said no to joining NATO plus. Actually the Congress committee, the bipartisan Congress committee of United States of America, it recommended to check and counter China. America must join India in the club of NATO plus nations. And uh, who are these NATO, NATO plus nations? Uh, there are NATO countries plus there are countries, five other countries that is Australia, South Korea, Japan, New Zealand and Israel. Uh, and all these together they form NATO plus and uh, they get a lot of support when it comes to equipment, intelligence sharing and there is a kind of you can say a nuclear umbrella though it is not guaranteed under article 5 like that of NATO countries but you can still say, you can still believe that they are getting the nuclear umbrella and support from United States of America from their adversaries. Now you can't put a country like India in the same group with due respect to all these countries but you look at India. India is a huge country with the maximum population in the world. It is an already a nuclear power. It is a technological power. It has got huge army. So India, yes, it is true that there are conflicts with China. And I have maintained one thing that conflict and cooperation with China will go on for next few decades I think uh, but uh, it is not like that that India cannot tackle China without the help of other countries India is sufficiently strong to tackle China and China also knows this thing uh, gone those days of 1962 when India was defeated by the Chinese army today's India is a very different India now even if you look at NATO except United States of America, all the European countries, they are very small countries, basically in size, in population, in number of armed, uh, uh, armed forces. So they are quite small countries and they need American support if push comes to the shove. But this is not the case with India. And even within them, you look at France. It's a very classic example. France is a nuclear powered country and it has got a blue navy which can sail throughout the world. So France does not obey the dictates of NATO. Not from just today, even during the time of de Guela, they were in, uh, for some uh, for a brief period of time, they were not in the NATO operations. So this is France. So if France can have an independent foreign policy and independent defense policy then India is much bigger power India will definitely go for it and uh, I'll, I, I always say one thing that uh, today's India is not exactly non-aligned but the alignment goes with policies with issue based alliances India definitely goes for issue based alliances not for general alliance and uh, th there is a thinking a kind of thinking in the United States of America that my way or highway if we, either you are with us or you are against us so this was a cold war kind of mentality and the unipolar world mentality but there is no cold war of that kind right now even 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 that time india was non aligned though we were much weaker we are, we are much more powerful very powerful country powerful nation today we were much weaker during the cold war but even then we were non aligned so right now i don't say that we are non aligned country but we do alliances not alliances exactly we don't go for those kind of alliances which america talks about or west talks about we go for partnerships and those partnerships are ethical based partnership uh, and uh, point to point partnerships and uh, we go for all good things but uh, you can't we can't give our shoulder to anybody to fire a gun on anybody else so this is the reason India said no to join NATO plus and uh, 
India will keep on having an independent foreign and defense policy. Uh, we never got dictated by anybody. We were not dictated by USSR. We were not, though we were quite close to them. We were not dictated even during the Cold War time by United States. And even today, we won't be dictated. We are world's largest democracy, a nuclear power nation, and a country with a visionary leadership of Narendra Modi ji. Plus, we are a country, we are a civilizational state. And a civilizational nation has its own ethos. We have our own self-respect. So our foreign policy will be independent and nobody can dictate us. And that is the reason India said no to joining NATO+. Plus. Thank you.